Hello, welcome to my clay channel. In this video, I will show you how to make Olaf, Bruni, and Gail from Frozen 2. Let's get started. If you love Frozen 2, I'm sure you love to see my chibi Elsa and Queen Anna. If you haven't watched it, just click on the video link in the upper right corner. First, I'll make Olaf. Start by making his body and legs. Use glue to stick it together. Make his neck and let it dry. Use white glue to stick his buttons. Add textures to make it look like stones. After it dries, add sealer to give a little sheen. Olaf is a snowman, so to make it look like it's made of snow, I use dilated silver acrylic paint. Use a lot of water to dilute the paint so it will only give shimmer effect. Can you see that? For his arm, I use wire and brown clay. Cover the wire by rolling the clay on it. Let it dry and add the fingers. Olaf only has four fingers. One of them is his thumb. Let it dry completely and slightly bend the wrist. Paint it with slightly darker color to make it look like a wooden stick. Use the same method to make Olaf hair. Make three twigs for the hair. Now, I'll make his head. Shape the clay with your thumb. Use a ball tool to help shape the clay. Shape his upper lip with a tool and then make his eyes. Don't forget to make the nose. Olaf's nose is made of carrot. Add the nose to the head part. Make sure everything is dry before you make the next step. To make his eyebrow, add the white clay and smooth the edge. Don't forget to make Olaf's tooth. I continue to make his eyes by adding the eyelids. Smooth the clay and add back clay for his eyelash and eyebrow. Paint the iris with black acrylic paint. I'll make Olaf look at Bruni on his left hand, so his eyes look to his lower left. After the paint is dry, add glossy sealer for the eyes. Apply two coats if needed. Make sure the first layer is dry. If you look closely, Olaf's eyelids are colored, so I'll paint his eyelids. And then, paint the carpet. I use lighter and darker color to make it look more realistic. For the tooth, I use semi-gloss sealer. And then, I use dilated silver acrylic paint for the head part to give shimmer effect. Remember, use a lot of water to dilate the paint, or else it will be silver. Now, add his hair to the head part. To connect the parts of body and head, use a wire and cyanoacrylate glue. Attach the arm to the body part. All of is done! It's time to make Bruni! Do you like Bruni the fire spirit? This fire salamander is so cute! My Bruni is about 1 cm. Honestly, I want to make it smaller than that, but it end up bigger because I keep adding the clay. It's not easy to make small thing like this, it keeps falling. To make the eyes, use a ball tool. Add white clay as the eyeballs and keep adding blue clay to shape the head. Shape the lips with the tool. Use a needle to make his nostril. Make the feet by adding the blue clay to the body part. Use scissors to make the fingers. Bruni has four fingers too, and it's so small. After it dry completely, paint the darker blue part. Let the paint dry before you touch it. After the darker blue part is done, paint the purple motif on the head, body, and the tail. Now, paint the blue iris and the black pupil. After the acrylic paint is dry, add glossy sealer for the eyes. Bruni is done, guys! Now it's time to make Gale. Gale is one of four elemental spirits in the forest. As you can see in the movie, Gale, the wind spirit, is identified by leaves that sway through the air. 
I make autumn leaves with six different colors. To make it look like they are blown by air, I use a nylon string. Curl the nylon string with tools. Add the glue and attach it to Olaf. Make it look like it surrounds him. After it's done, attach the leaves one at a time along the string. Yay! Finally it's done! What do you think about my Olaf, Bruni, and Gail? Do you like it? Please let me know in the comment. And if you like my creation, please like the video and subscribe my Quay channel. Thank you for watching. See ya!